Hey Trail Blazers, I'm Eric Lopez and this is Blazer Central. Yeah. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to Blazer, Blazer Central. Central. We hope you are having a great new week and a great start to the month. I'm Maui Luis. And I'm Brianna Lopez. And now let's get into some announcements. Yearbooks are now $100 and will continue to raise in price, so make sure you purchase them as soon as possible. The Tulare County Farm Bureau of 2024 Calendar Art Contest is now open. Every year, the Tulare County Farm Bureau gets together with TCOE to hold this art contest for Tulare County students K through 12th grades. This year's theme is celebrating Tulare County number one in agriculture. The deadline is February 15th. Just a friendly reminder that you cannot be around the pool and tennis court area near the locker room. Senior ad deadlines are February 7th, so get yours in before it's due. You can include pictures for a farewell and a new start to the chapter. Senior grad night tickets will be coming on sale February 5th, so start saving up for your tickets. They will be $315 and you're able to pay with cash, check, credit card, and even Apple Pay. Kiss a Cow has started for this year and this year's donations will go out to Miss Acevedo for a little help with her journey. Anything is appreciated, so if you want to help, donate in the classrooms that have jars. Valentine Grams will be on sale from the 7th through the 9th of February for $5. Something a little special for your boo or your crush. These are all the announcements that we have for this week. Now sending it off to weather. Good morning, Trailblazers. Hope you had a great week and are looking forward to the weekend. Let's dive into this week's forecast. Monday, National Disaster Day. What a way to define a Monday. We'll be at high 58 with a 60% chance throughout the day and a low 49 degrees, literally National Disaster Day. Tuesday will be a high of 56 and a low of 43 degrees with a 50% chance of rain. Halfway through the week, Wednesday will be a high of 57 with a 60% chance of rain and a low of 41 degrees. Thursday, National Foodie Day. Go eat whatever you've been craving, what you've seen on the gram, go treat yourself good today. Thursday will be a high of 56 and a low of 41 with lots of showers. Finally, Friday, the day we all been looking forward to, will be a high of 56 and a low of 41, and will rain cats and dogs, literally. Looks like this week there's gonna be a lot of rain, so come prepared with a hoodie or an umbrella. That's it from me, handing it off to Eric with Staff of the Week. Hey, what's up Trailblazers? Today we have another great episode of Blazer Central. Let's get to know some more of our awesome staff. Hey Trailblazers, today we're here with Miss Colum. Miss Colum, how many years have you been working here at Golden West High School? I'm currently in my 18th year of teaching here at Golden West. 18 years, that's a great milestone. Thank you. Also, what subjects have you taught here? So, believe it or not, several years ago I taught economics, but I have taught dance for the longest amount of time, all 18 years, and now I also teach another class called Success 101, and that's where we help our freshmen get integrated into our campus and take care of their driver's ed requirements so they can hopefully all get a pink slip and go get that driver's permit. That's great to hear, great to hear. We also understand that you are the coach of our wonderful Illusions Dance team, and you guys had a competition this last week, and you guys are going into a competition this week. Can you tell us some more about that? Yes, thank you. So last weekend we competed at the CIF Central Section Cheer and Dance Championships. Our amazing cheer team was also there and did a wonderful job. Um, we got to go up against a lot of other schools from the Valley, including schools from Visalia, Hanford, Fresno, Clovis, Fowler, um, quite, quite a few schools were there. It was a really great experience. Out of the 18 years and a lot of memories, which one is your favorite memory? It's true, there's a lot of memories, so it's hard to pick a favorite. Um, I'm gonna say something that is not just one, happens one time, but or has happened one time, but every year at the dance show, we have a finale, and that's where we bring out all the classes and all the students that participated in the show. 
and slowly as the finale progresses, by the end we have every student that has per performed that evening on stage dancing together as one big group and one big dance family. For me, that is the most satisfying and heartwarming moment of the show when I get to see how many students are being impacted by our dance program and how they all can just come together as one big team and put on a great show for our audience. That's very great to hear. Thank you so much, Ms. Colum. Thank you. you. Another great day here at Blazer Central as we get to meet and you know, get to know our great staff members here at Golden West as they're here to help us and make us more successful. Now let's see if John can catch this. Hey Blazers, the club announcements I bring to you this week is Craft Club meets on Thursday and our Key Club meets every other Wednesday. Crochet Club meets on Fridays at lunch in room E6. And to wrap it up, we have dance meets every other Tuesday. With that being said, that's all I have for you today and sending it off to John with Club Spotlight. Hey Detroit Blazers, and welcome back to another Club Spotlight. Let's go interview some dance. Hey Detroit Blazers, I'm John Contreras and I'm here with Natalia. So Natalia, I was wondering, what gets you into the groove to dance? Uh, definitely the atmosphere and Miss Cullum and Miss Martin. Oh, that's cool. You, you love your teachers? Yes, I love them. They, they trained me to be the dancer that I am today, considering that like I haven't had dance, like I didn't participate in dance like ever before high school, so they definitely trained me. Oh, that's great. So I was wondering, what is your role and how much dance groups are you in? Uh, well, here I am in the Illusion Dance team and I do hip hop. Oh wow. So I was also wondering, what is your favorite routine to do for dance? Uh, my favorite routine as of this year, it's the our competition palm routine that we just did and we will be performing it on this Friday's rally and yeah. Oh, that's great. Thank you for your time. Thank you. <laughs> hey Troy Blazers, I'm here with Azaria. So Azaria. I was wondering, what gets you into the mood to dance? Um, definitely seeing all my friends when I come into class and just dancing with them just makes it a lot of fun. Oh, that's great. You really have a lot of friendship over here, huh? Yes. So I was also wondering, what is your favorite memory from this year in the dance? Um, my favorite memory is definitely doing the Rio dance with the dance team girls. Oh, I remember that during the rally, huh? Mm -hmm. So I was also wondering, how many dance groups have you been in? Um, this year I'm on dance team, um, also the international class and hip hop class. Oh wow, that's a lot. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Hey Trey Blazers, thanks for watching that segment. Personally, I think it was the best. Now, on to sports. What's up guys, I'm Isaac Osegar. I'm Michael Ramos. Starting off with the boys soccer. They're currently 9, 4, and 6, and they have been going crazy, and they just took a dub against Menachi, 3 to 0. Girls soccer got another dub against Menachi. They took it, 1, 0. Congrats to Kaylin for being named player of the game. Boys basketball played Menachi away, and they had another tough loss. They gonna bounce back with a dub against Mount Winnie. Girls and boys basketball have home games next week. Same as girls soccer. Wrestling hosted a tournament this past Friday and Saturday with our girls taking first as a team and the boys taking second as a team. Also, boys tennis had a meeting February 1st during lunch in P5. Now send it off to our amazing mind of campus, Phaser Focus. Thank you to our sports anchors. Now we're here with the amazing minds on campus. I'm Elsa Gala and I'm here with Anna Cortez. And I'm gonna be asking you a few questions. Okay, who is one of your biggest supporters? Uh, my biggest supporter would probably be my oldest sister. She has encouraged me a lot to get out of my comfort zone, and she has honestly supported me through all the decisions I've made. That's so sweet. If you were to give advice to an underclassman, what advice would you give them? I'd probably tell them not to procrastinate, to just get your work over with, and then do whatever you like after that. Who was one of your favorite teachers on campus? I'd say it's Mr. Villalobos. We have a very funny dynamic, and we just get along very well. <laughs> That's good. Lastly, what keeps you motivated in your academics? It'd probably be the fact that I want to make my mom proud and to show her that I can get through with high school and keep it going. That's sweet. Bye. <laughs> now we're here with Diego Vasquez. Okay, Diego. 
What are some of your biggest accomplishments in school? Some of my biggest accomplishments are probably uh, getting nominated for top five for Homecoming King this year, and also getting a score of four and three on my AP US History and AP Ling exams last year. Congratulations to you. What are some of the things that you're associated with at, on campus? I'm associated with FBLA, Yearbook, Lion X, Match Hub, Blazer Buddies, Key Club, Crochet Club, and Steam Club. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite high school memory by far? It was finding out that I won my first mock trial competition last year. Uh, Denny's with the rest of the team. <laughs> That's amazing. Lastly, what keeps you motivated in your academics? I've always just wanted to make people around me feel proud of me, uh, like my parents. And I also just like building a good name for myself, especially while trying to figure out like what college I'm going to go to after. And having good grades and having that good reputation really sticks out to colleges, which gives me a wide range or wide selection of colleges I can choose from. That's all we have for you today, guys. Now sending you off to our man and lady on campus. Yo, what up, y'all? It's your man on campus and... Your lady on campus. Mr. Oliver, it's all good, though. We're going to go into some interviews and show y'all what we got. But before that, can you tell them a little bit about our podcast that we filmed on Friday? All right, so Friday, as you said, we did film a podcast. Um, it's a CNL podcast, in case y'all were wondering. Uh, we'll be posted up on our YouTube channel at GW Blazer Central, I believe, correct? Yep, a little a little yapping, a little grubbing, you know, just, just a little entertainment for you guys. And anyways, enough of that. Let's get on to some interviews. What's up, guys? I'm here with... Noah. Noah, how's basketball going? It's going good. I mean, we just lost, but it's all right. Yeah, you guys, you guys will come back up. And how do you think Sunday's... Um, game went? I mean, it went all right. We, we should have won by more, and we shouldn't have been down that bad. And looking in the future, how do you think the Super Bowl game is going to go? I think we're going to win by a touchdown. Yeah? Yeah. You sure about that? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you for your time. What's up, guys? I'm here with... Levi Martinez. Levi, what grade are you in? I'm a sophomore. You're a sophomore, and on this bright, sunny day, can you give us a little fit check? Um, I have a Yoda shirt on, green thermal, some Wrangler pants, and some DVS shoes. Hey, nice, nice. How much How much was the fit? How much was for everything? Um, about 500 bands. 500? Five, That's crazy. I right, respect. You know, like the shirt. All right, thank you for your time. Hi, right, y'all. It's your man on campus, and it's Brian Sunday, you feel me? And today we got... David Lopez. All right, uh, and just a quick question for you today. How do you feel about wrestling? Uh, wrestling is a pretty physical sport. It's kind of all mentally. Uh, it's just whoever wants it more. Nice, nice, nice. How did you do in this uh, Central Valley Invitational Tournament this past weekend? Uh, I did pretty good. I got third place. I should have got first, but overall, I did pretty good. It happens, it happens. You know, it happens to the best of us. Uh, I think you'll get it next time, though. But I appreciate you. Thank you for your time. Hi, right, y'all. It's your boy on campus with another interview. Today we got Mario and Jose. Hi. Right. So, Jose was a part of the football team, and Mario is now currently a part of the baseball team. All right, we're going to keep it sporty. How do y'all feel about the Super Bowl? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You don't know who you got? Who you got, Niners or Niners or Chiefs? We got the Chiefs. Chiefs? Yeah. All right, who you got? Well, Chiefs are a division rival. And as a Raider fan, I can't support that, so let's go Niners. But you also got to say, Niners have been our biggest rival throughout the entire century. Oh, 100%. But at the same time, it's a division rival over a conference rival. True, true. That's very fair. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I agree with that. All right, all right. And how's y'all day going? Pretty good, pretty good. You? That's good, that's good. Thank you. My day's going good as well. And yours? Pretty good, pretty good. All right, that's good. What y'all got planned out for uh, this weekend? Nothing. You going to work? Yeah, got to go work. Got to go work. Got to get that paper. You? Probably just play video games all day. Play video games. What you going to play? Play some COD. COD? Oh, COD. Play some Warzone, you know. And hey, let me know that we call hop on if y'all want to. Play some Fortnite, you know, talk it up. Chit, chat, yap. Do whatever we like to do. All right, y'all. Appreciate your time. Yeah, appreciate appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thank you. What up, y'all? We back. Hope y'all enjoyed these interviews. And hope y'all have a good day. Stay blessed. Stay safe. And do y'all thing over the weekend. See y'all later. What's up, guys? Before we send it off, thank you to our weatherman for telling us on this beautiful day that it was going to be raining cats and dogs. But before we send it off, 
we want to congratulate one of the best teachers here on our very own campus, Mr. Shark. We're going to go ahead and ask him some questions and recognize him for getting the best teacher at VUSD. Let's go, guys. We're here with Mr. Shark that got Teacher of the Year. Mr. Shark, what subject do you teach? I teach chemistry and AP chemistry. And why did you choose a subject? Um, I, I actually studied neurobiology in college, but um, I liked chemistry and biochemistry a lot. And um, I had the opportunity to start teaching them and uh, just decided to try that out. And it's been pretty fun. Yeah, seems like I loved this class when I was here. It was really fun, actually, genuinely. And how do you feel about getting teacher of the year? I'm pretty happy, actually, and I uh, wasn't expecting it at all, so it was a big surprise. Um, but I like working here a lot. I've always liked teaching, always liked science, so I'm um, pretty excited about it. And how many years have you been teaching so far? This is my 11th year. I did uh, four years at Green Acres before this, teaching mostly eighth grade science, and then I decided to try high school out um, and uh, did biology for about a year and then switched to chemistry. I did physics for a year also, and now I'm just chemistry and AP chemistry. Yeah, for sure. I, we're so honored to have you in our campus. You know, congrats on your award, and until next time. Thank you, Lorena. You're welcome. Thank you to our Lady and Man on Campus for the amazing interviews. We hope that you have a wonderful week, and don't forget to follow us on YouTube and Instagram, and stay tuned for our new podcast.